The Stefan Boltzmann constant, called Stefan's constant by his friends, is used in the Stefan Boltzmann law to describe the power radiated from a black body. So this law basically says that the total energy radiated by the surface increases as the temperature of the black body increases. A black body is an idealized physical body that absorbs all incident electromagnetic radiation regardless of frequency or angle of incidence. An example would be a star or our sun. But that's enough of that. What we're going to do today is convert this constant from standard units, shown here, to English units. So what we need to do is identify the units used in this constant and convert them from international units to English units. We have watts, which would be converted to BTUs per hour, meters, which would be converted to feet, and then degrees Kelvin, which would be converted to degrees Rankine. The idea behind changing units is to multiply it by a fraction that reduces to 1 using the units you want to get to, because anything multiplied by 1 is still itself. That concept is a little hard to grasp, um, but after you've done it a few times, it makes a lot of sense. A common example would be converting something from minutes to hours. If you had an hour and a half of time and you wanted to see how many minutes that was, you would multiply it by 60 minutes over an hour. 60 minutes over an hour is equal to 1, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, but then 1 and a half times 60 is actually 90, so you have 90 minutes. So now your example is in minutes when it was in hours, but there's still the same amount of time. 90 minutes is the same as one and a half hours. Finding conversion tables online, write down how watts is related to BTUs per hour, meters squared is equal to feet squared, and how Kelvin is related to ranking. We multiply our constant by our new units so that the numerators and the denominators cancel out, leaving the units or the English units that we want to keep. Notice that every time we multiply, we do multiply by a number, but the ratio itself is still equal to 1, so your constant should still be the same constant even if it's in a different unit. Similar to how it goes back to 1 and a half hours is equal to 90 minutes. Ran out of uh, room here on the bottom, but you can see our final answer is equal to 0 0.1713 times 10 to the negative eighth BTUs per hour times feet squared times ranking to the fourth.